After nearly a year of planning, all of Equestria should tremble before the power of my dear Changlings. This time, I hold the cards, and this time... Ahem. Perhaps I should mention it. I was the one that helped you with the plans. Therefore, I hold the aforementioned cards of yours. Oh, yes. How could I forget, General? Of course you only helped because I was somehow able to release you from the Phantom Zone. And how you discovered me was due to you smashing right into my face like a bug on a windshield. Enough! We are not accomplishing anything with our bickering. Agreed. I just hope this planet is a lot easier to conquer than that other planet, Houston. Princess Celestia, we've got ourselves a huge problem on our hooves. Oh my, whatever's the matter? We've just heard that. Um, Your Majesty, what's the matter with your mane? Why isn't it flowing? Do you always expect my mane to flow every time? Um, well, uh, <clears throat> anyways, Queen Chrysalis, even though we've never actually used her name, is taking over the Crystal Empire, and she's getting help from some sort of creature in tight black leather. Tight black leather? I'm just as confused as you are, your highness! Shouldn't Cadence and Shining Armor be protecting the Empire? Well, let's just say they're a little tied up at the moment. Well then, I guess I'll just have to deal with Chrysalis and her army. But I can't do it alone. What about your sister Luna? Shouldn't she be able to help? <laughs> If my sister can't help me, then I am left with only one choice. Spirits of Equestria, by the power of my might, bring forth a companion to aid in our plight. I summon a warrior of great strength and flight. I beg for a companion, bring him to fight. I summon thee! Look, up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a bird! No! It's Superman! I wish they wouldn't always say that. Oh, well, time for my daily crime inspection of Metropolis. Great Scott! Never fear, folks. This looks like a job for... Superman! Holy guacamole! Where am I? Calm yourself, great warrior. All of your questions shall be answered. A talking winged unicorn. Sure, why not? I am Princess Celestia. What is your name, great warrior? You may call me Superman. I was just in the middle of stopping a plane from crashing when you interfered by bringing me to this place. What the heck, lady? A minor setback, I assure you. But let me explain why I summoned you here. And that's why I brought you here. So you think you can help us? Yeah... Great. Now we must be on our way. On the way to where? Princess Celestia! Thank goodness you're here. Yes, Cadence. And I brought some pon- Someone to help us. Hi. Is that a human? Well, not exactly. However, I did manage to find him on Earth, and thankfully he is more than capable to help us in our time of ni- What are you doing? Oh, sorry. It's just that this kingdom reminds me of my Fortress of Solitude, since it too is made of crystals. You wouldn't happen to have access to Kryptonian technology, would you? Uh, what? Well, this is all very fascinating, but I am afraid we have something more important to worry about. Yes, of course. Now, where are these changelings? The last time I checked, they were- <laughs> We made it! Chrysalis! Wait, how are you able to get inside? Your ceiling's made of crystal. It wasn't that difficult. No, no, I mean, how did you get in the city so easily? I thought the magical barrier was strong enough to keep you out. Wait, what bar- 
Oh, that barrier! Right! Uh... You forgot to do it, didn't you? Sorry, dear. Enough of this foolishness! You two, kneel before Zod! Hello, General. Well, well. If it isn't the son of Jor-El. What are you doing here? Didn't I trap you in the Phantom Zone along with Ursa and Nan? Yes. Yes, you did. Fortunately, Her Majesty Queen Chrysalis here aided in my escape. I have no idea what's going on. What is he talking about? Silence, you! We're here for our one goal. REVENGE! Shall we take this outside? You feel concern for these pitiful creatures, Kal-El? What? You know I do, Zod. And they're not pitiful. Well then, by all means, we'll take this outside. Shall we get started? Try this. You're gonna ruin my beautiful face! Looks like someone else beat me to it. My turn! Don't you have, oh, I don't know, an army? Oh, right. Very interesting style of look there. Bet I can make it look even better. There's something you don't see every day. That should distract them long enough for us to take the castle! Like the odds are against you. We can defeat you, Chrysalis, just like last time. Don't be too sure about that, my dear. The power of love won't save you this time. What? Impossible! Actually, it was pretty easy. But the army! Uh, I think I have a concussion. Is it a bad sign if you smell burnt toast and everything looks like it's underwater? Zod, Chrysalis, we'll give you both one last chance. Surrender peacefully, or you'll be joining your army in the pile. We will not surrender, Kal-El. And once we take over the Crystal Empire, we will take over all the other nations. Then all of Equestria! <laughs> Wanna bet? Looks like it's just you and me, Kalel. This won't take long, Zod. Do you forget that my powers rival your own? True, but we also rival weaknesses. What do you mean? Catch. What's this? A crystal? You idiot! This whole kingdom is full of crystals! What the- What sorcery is this? 
Oh, just some red kryptonite I found while fighting off the doppelgangers of me and the princess. It was just lying there on the ground. Very convenient. This is humiliating! And why do I feel like eating carrots? Oh, aren't you just the cutest thing? And now I'm bored. with my friend Angel while I get you a nice big carrot. Neil! Well, this isn't over, Celestia. Wrong answer. Well, it's been an honor fighting alongside you, defending the Crystal Empire and whatnot, but I must get back home to Metropolis, so if it isn't any trouble... I understand. Thank you for all of your help, Superman. The ponies of Equestria will never forget what you have done here today. <laughs> no kidding. You're welcome, Your Majesty. Farewell, Man of Steel. <laughs> Ah, uh, home sweet home. Wait, wasn't there something I was supposed to- Ooh! Hey, Bruce. I can explain this. Y you see... Don't tell me. Let me guess. Talking ponies. How did you know? Because I've been there, man. I've seen the stuff that you've seen. Plus, I can smell the pony sparkle coming from you. You think we'll ever see that caped human again? I'm not sure, Shining Armor. Maybe someday. Well, with all the weird things that happen around here on a daily basis, I wouldn't be surprised. Ha <laughs> ha! No! I'll kill you! <laughs> <laughs>